take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. The answer is that most store-bought eggnog actually contains cooked eggs, although not in the sense of being scrambled or fried. The pasteurization process heat treats the mixture so that potentially harmful microorganisms, such as salmonella, are killed or reduced. Take our lead. Only if you like really strong eggnog. Ethanol, the alcohol in beverages, should kill some of the pathogens that might be there, Chapman says. The cream also complicates things in eggnog as it has fat in it, and high-fat environments like peanut butter and chocolate serve to protect salmonella cells, Chapman says. Make your mark, take our lead. The FDA also recommends using egg substitutes or pasteurized eggs, which are available at most grocery stores. And you totally don't have to make eggnog with eggs either, although then its name should just be nog. So yes, eggnog is safe to drink for a healthy individual. Take our lead. Eggs must be cooked to 160 degrees Fahrenheit to kill bacteria such as salmonella that may be present. If your eggnog recipe calls for raw eggs, it may not be safe. Adding alcohol inhibits bacterial growth, but it cannot be relied upon to kill bacteria. Let's help you make your mark. Why don't dairy manufacturers make eggnog all year long? It doesn't sell. Demand for eggnog follows traditional consumption patterns that date back hundreds of years. The drink was a wintertime favorite of the British aristocracy, who took it warm, mixed with brandy or sherry to prevent spoilage. Let's help you make your mark. Eggnog may be safely made at home by using whole, liquid or pasteurized eggs. Pasteurized eggs are found next to regular eggs at the store. Egg substitutes can also be used. These products have also been pasteurized. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.